Hey guys, Girl Blonde Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Calvin. Aaron. We're back with Umbrella Academy, where yes. last time... Samurai! I don't know if it's a samurai, yeah. but it looks very samurai-ish to me. Yeah, we don't know what's on the other also, side. Also, there was Japanese, there was sushi. Yeah, I don't know how the cockroaches fit in, but there was cockroaches. Uh-huh. They were the last thing to survive an apocalypse. Sure, and this was over in Oblivion. Yep. Yeah. Which I don't know what that means, but it's Oblivion the other side. Oblivion instead of Obsidian. Somehow the, the Sparrows are familiar with it, maybe, or at least Hargreaves is, and that's yep. something that Hargreaves is wanting to do. But currently, he's getting his he's mind, off his, his mojo. meds. No, he's getting his mojo back. He's off his meds. He's off his meds. Uh, Allison, bad good way. Fuck it up and uh, Harlan and uh, so Harlan mad. has no powers. Yeah, no, and now he's at the mercy of the sparrows, who or we know are dead. psychopaths. He could be dead. I thought I thought he was he dead. Wasn't dead. He I looked dead. Thought he, he was dead. Pretty pale because oh. he looked limp, dead. and his eyes were open, and he had blood on his ear. Limp. Like I think she. Rumored him to to be limp. To not. Can you be rumor alive. him to like look like you're dead, but not die? I heard a rumor that you, you look didn't dead. breathe. Could you do that? I heard a rumor that people thought you were dead because they looked at you, but you really weren't. Yeah, you should have that power. What? what? <laughs> you trying to fart? Oh, you can't breathe. <laughs> uh, this is the uh, bureau. Place. The commission. Yeah. yeah. Not time bureau. Sorry, John. I just excuse me. What? Oh, this is in the season two. She's watching her die over and over. Yeah, apparently. Oh, she killed everybody to get here. Oh! Oh my God! Oh my! I had that way too close to my ear. Do you even? I'll scratch my ear back here with my pants. No, no, get away from me! West Berlin, 1989. Hmm. Huh. Is that good? Oh, he is That's for Calvita. Wait, 19 when? 89. Who do you think the kid is? Stanley. David Hasselhoff. Oh, that would be some shit. This is a great effect. I love it. That looks like a sparrow emblem. It's a high heel of, of the, uh, what was her name? The, her mom, quote unquote. Is there a briefcase here? I'm yeah. Say the backup, yeah. And you gotta go here because the wall's about to sure. be torn down, right? Yeah, What sure. a brilliant hiding spot. There's no way he's really here, right? No. Yeah. He's got that long hair again. <laughs> How's your mom? She left with the bass player. Mm-hmm. When's she coming back? A week. A week? Sure. I'm down. Cool. What the fuck? Oh, umbrella is very cool. Why yeah. is it doing that? Because they're in the intro, they always hide. Damn Nelly, baby. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> what? I he's, love it. He's listening to this? Yeah, he's free, man. Well, then who's in this trunk? Someone not free. <laughs> Harlan? It's gotta be him, right? He's alive. Yeah, probably. better be. He better be. Oh no! Nope. Dang it! Oh, that sense. makes way more sense. Harlow's dead, yeah. and I have no hope. Exactly. <laughs> you seen how long till he woke up? Yeah, I don't know. Totally vulnerable. I could have taken every one of your organs. <laughs> Why? The point is, if the world is truly ending, then you're running out of time to master your gifts. Oh. That was a great delivery. <laughs> to do. No <laughs> great delivery. Oh, his why got me so good. Why? <laughs> I could have taken every one of your organs. What the hell are you doing? Stanley is gone. We need to face Just it. Check the chimney, all right? He's not in the bloody <laughs> chimney. He's been Google Bay. And whose fault is that? Aren't you the one that brought him here? Congratulations. Yeah, You're both mildly terrible parents. Can we focus? Come on. 
this thing open before? Check the chimney. Check the chimney, chimney all right? Because you're coming with us. That should be interesting. Where to? Sparrow Academy. The world's ending. So I think it's time we put our petty bullshit aside and work together on this cougar blitz. Yeah? Or what? Well, Stanley won't be the last of us to disappear. Yeah. Or the world ends and everyone dies. Diego. Okay, if the testosterone twins are done, I'd like to get back to a plan. Where is he? Victor? I killed Harlan. I, I don't... I don't understand. Why? Because he didn't deserve to live. What? I don't think I have any sympathy for her now. I know Harlan killed all of our mothers. What? Oh. Accidentally. You Shit. killed him on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> Is that true, Victor? Harlan started all this? No. Yeah. But we did. He didn't mean to. Yeah, hurt you guys did. How do you know? We went back in time, saved Harlan. Because I knew him. You need someone to blame. I'm right What makes here. you think I don't? So you're gonna kill me now? This wasn't about saving the world. This was about hurting me. Yeah. Yep. Payback for. I have to spare us more than Allison right now. <laughs> Say her name. You know what? Maybe we should all just take him oh in. Okay. God. Did killing Harlan bring Claire back? Did protecting him bring Sissy back? Because it was just as personal. For I didn't kill anyone. But you risked everyone. Do you know what that felt like? The damage was already done. What a shit argument. God, this whole family is so quick to tell me to suck up my pain and so worried about fixing yours. Somebody had to pay because you never seem to. Destroy the world. We're setting up because a villain, you think? Is that what we're doing? It's justifying murder. I'm sick of it. Take it easy, Alice. It's a comparison of pain. Okay, I, I... Shut your mouth! Alice, she didn't even say I heard a rumor. Dylan. Yep. Why are you doing this without saying I heard a rumor? Right? Just a little residual gift from oh. her. All right, that's it. Knock up the power <laughs> shit, Allison. It's not okay. <coughs> we should have left you oh. in the basement. Whoa, Allison, all right! Yeah, fuck you! Oh, Jesus. Sorry, I'm so toxic. <laughs> I'm fine. Let's continue. Sweet. Can we really kick her out? Like us. Yeah. He's obviously unhinged. Oh, man. And the world's at stake. We don't fight like this. Ben died during the Jennifer incident. Tragic. Oh, tragic. I'm not finished. You drugged your daughter for years. You turned Luther into a half monkey moon boy freak thing. You locked me in a box full of ghosts, and then you killed yourself so that none of us would ever get any answers. I see. What I'm saying is... I see. <laughs> yes, pick that up. Thank you. Good. High time I made it up to you. <laughs> Starting now. <laughs> you just murdered me and stuffed me in the trunk of your car. I have notes, Let's Dad. not quibble over these. I have notes. <laughs> <laughs> I help you master your powers. You stop blaming me for the sins of your other father. Allow us a new start. I like it. <laughs> All right, but I told you, I can't control how long I'm dead. It's just one of those mystery of life things. That's Nonsense. It. Dying no, well is a skill like any other. <laughs> Stand there. When you're fast enough to catch this ball, you will have succeeded. Reflexes. Why not? Okay. But just so you know, I have the hand-eye coordination of a drunk kitten. <laughs> ah, see? <laughs> you can get hit by a car. Oh, shit! Or a bus. Did that Town bus driver not give a fuck? Reanimation training. Trial commencing. One yeah, he just kept going on. Uh. Gotta stay on time. <laughs> yeah. Now one of them kids jump in front of my bus again. <laughs> I will not be late. You oh. tricked me. <laughs> See? Too slow. Again. You're again. A terrible father. <laughs> again. Catch. The cat's not oh. oh! It's suddenly so busy out here. <laughs> I know, it goes from no traffic to just so many people. Not 
good enough. That's a lot faster. And no one stops. No one gives a shit. You can do it. It's just straight road. Nine minutes and twenty seconds. I'm getting better. I think you're getting the hang of it, boy. Uh. 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 Okay, all right. I think I figured this out. It's People not like see oh, him for miles! It's not like there's a curve. People don't give a fuck out here. Is it like a rule to hit anyone in the road? Huh. Now he's gonna be even more. I don't even hear any brake sounds. Yeah. <gasps> like, that's a straightaway. Uh oh. The spooky ghosts. The mausoleum. Hermes. Mausoleum? <laughs> mausoleum? People don't want apologies. They want confessions. They want you to stand there and list all the shitty ways that you've hurt them so they know you understand. Unless you're Victor, in which case nothing's ever good enough. You know, I thought killing Harlan would make me feel better or worse. So we need the gravity from Sloan, the time of those two. I don't know what no, because that's weird. Lila, when you're ready, do exactly like Victor. <sighs> uh, is she gonna cause a distraction? No, that's the mom with the guns and the grenades. You didn't tell me you were building a prison yeah, for God. God. Mom? You have no right Holy to do shit. that. We need them to stop. What are you talking about? And my year of redemption hath come. Flame from her. Day of vengeance was in my heart. Don't Sounds like a fucking year of redemption hath come. Like a Dalek. Like a flamethrower. Exterminate. Yeah. Hath come. Together. You coward. <laughs> no, fire. you're gonna burn down the graveyard. Look at all the ghosts. Wow. Oh, man. What if Hargreaves gets him to the point that we could have been in the beginning of season two? Remember that? Troll ghosts, yeah. It's Diego. Don't make us hurt you. The day of vengeance was in my heart. Oh! Okay. Lila, I need you. Teleport behind Come her. Come on, five. Yeah, five. Good job. Nothing personal. What were my you? day of reckoning. Uh, okay. <laughs> I thought it was going to happen again. Yeah. Christopher, now. What does Christopher do? And what does Christopher do? Is he, is he gonna be the box containing it? Is he gonna be inside of him? I don't know. I don't think so. Over here! Inside that overly manicured exterior, you are a warrior. It's these spirits that should fear you. Yes. But fight them. I don't know, but I believe with all of my heart that you do. Yeah, I like what we're doing with these two. Show them. Be Fun, yeah. everything I was afraid to let you become. Okay. He has so many tire treads on his jacket. <laughs> From being ran over, over, yeah. and over, and over. What's happening? Is the he quickening. Is he absorbing them? I don't know. It looked like it, like they deteriorated. Yeah, I don't know if he sent them away. Do we close this box and put the ball in the box? I didn't know you could break apart like this. Yeah, I didn't know either. I don't really know what a box can do. Uh, 
Next Google wave in three, two, one. Hey! They're all so happy now. <laughs> What's Luther doing? I don't know. He's shaking it oh, out. Oh, okay. okay. I didn't see that shooting out. <laughs> I just saw him going like. Busted. <laughs> Look at the place. I know. We did it. And. I'd like to see it with you. Well, dang, that's a hell of a thing. Is that a moon rock? I, I couldn't exactly find a diamond on short notice, but the stone is moon rock. Ah, oh, that's cool. I, I brought it back with me, and I've kind of been keeping it for a special occasion. And a little well, I, I, I know. it's beautiful. I kind of like it, but it seems really fast. It does seem fast, but... I mean, it's the end of the world. They've been through some shit. Sure, right? He's the only people left in the world. So, will you marry me? Damn. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Right. Hmm. Right. Not huh? I, I kept going, like, I don't trust her. Something's wrong with her. Wow. Really? <laughs> Dropping a kid in your lap and seeing if he'd reject us in a run felt safer than telling you the truth. Which is... I'm pregnant, Diego. Mm -hmm. And I think that someone who's who never had a family is in no position to ask for one. But that's what I want. Everyone's here. Here's a mess. With you. Mm -hmm. Just quit fucking lying. We're good. <laughs> Can I think about it? Yeah, of course. It was a sweet scene. Mm -hmm. I felt like she was being truthful for like one of the <laughs> first seconds. <laughs> you know? yeah. Glad we made peace. And it worked out. Yeah. But we're definitely killing them in the morning, right? Because they still got some episodes. And Chris has dibs on Knife Boy. No one is killing anyone. Hmm? Why not? You are a terrible leader with no loyalty to anyone but yourself. You don't speak for Christopher. Fuck you, I'm going home. Red. You idiot. Is that uh, going to mess up the Google yeah, Blitz? the vibration. Yep. It's in the living room now. Back away, Faye. They're going to both die. It's going to be okay. Hey! Okay. I'm going to help you. Just. Uh, maybe she's going to take her. And Christopher! Oh. It was real big. Uh oh. Oh my god, Luther! Oh, he went and got Ben. Run! Oh, damn, man. Oh, damn. The black hole's collapsing in on itself. Yep. I don't know how you stop that shit. Poco, okay. Poco is fucking at a tattoo shop. Yeah, but this has happened to the Stop whole it. world. He's right? at the trailer park now. They say that it's already consumed billions of people, right? Is what yeah, they said. That's what they said. Like they kind of saved the world. Well, sure, but I mean they stopped the globe from being destroyed. <laughs> like they the saved, little world. They Earth. saved the universe. Earth is fine. <laughs> Earth is fucked. Pogo's not dead because there hasn't been another one of those like things since then. Things yeah. since. Before. Okay. Gotcha. And like you fives are getting a tattoo. That's right, yeah. Man. Alright. But now he might be dead. Everything else is dying. Yeah. Black hole sucking everything up. They were gonna kill the Umbrella Academy anyway. And we're Well, Ben wasn't yet, at least. Yeah, but what's the plan with the dad then? I don't know. What's maybe the maybe the dad wants to make them all their best versions so that they can deal with the oblivion thing. Yeah, I like, made a deal with Dad. Like, this can't be the Oblivion thing. This has to be something else, right? I don't fucking know anything. Maybe we have to run into the Oblivion to save ourselves from this shit. We gotta get back to the... The, uh... The other side? It's called the Obsidian. White Buffalo? 
get back to the obsidian, go to the white buffalo room, get yeah. to the door, get to the other side, close the door, because nothing seems to, to be killing it on the other side, maybe. I don't know. We don't really know, I guess. Sure. I'm going to say no. Interesting. I don't remember the... What happened with Ben? What was the Jennifer incident? Like, what exactly was it? Do you guys remember? I think it was the thing at the bank where he, like, saved a girl by, like, giving his life to protect her. But I guess in this version, he didn't save her? Like, in in this one, they had him with, like, the artwork the that drawings said Jennifer. And, stuff. Yeah. and then Klaus had said, like... You know, he died during the Jennifer incident. So I am like, I was trying to remember what happened. And if I he, if feel he, like it was a... We just never knew. We it was like a, like I felt we, like it was a bank robbery, right? We time-skipped he was dead. Like, we saw number five leave. Then we time-skipped. Ben has been dead. I don't feel like we actually saw him die. We did see a bank robbery scene, but that was like when they were all together working as a, as a team of children heroes. Because then we would go out and Ben was the big giant Cthulhu monster thing, like in the shadow, right? But I don't think he died then. Was it not then? I think that we don't know how he died. This is what I was about ready to look up Jennifer incident, but I was like, no. I don't think we've had that before. I think that maybe is yet to be revealed. Hmm. So I don't know. I mean, if it is a thing where it's like Ben gave his life to save Jennifer kind of thing, versus yeah. this one is like he didn't, and does that haunt him? Is that why he's a, a jerk? A dick? You well, know, he like, might not have because he was raised with a different group of kids, so he's a different... Person. Yeah, but if it's just that, I feel like you don't draw pictures of her. You know what I mean? Hmm. I feel like it haunts you for some reason. Oh, you yeah, think sure. About I'm it not saying that he, like, he loves it to happen <laughs> or whatever. I don't what, know. What were you saying then? Well, I mean, uh, the he could just be, like, him being a jerk might just be a consequence of just being raised by other kids. Not necessarily because he made a different choice during uh, an incident. Maybe, but he's also raised by the same dad. There needs to be some differences as to why Ben is different. And why is the dad not uh, teaching I mean, I, them the same way? Yeah, I feel like if I didn't have my brother and sister and they were completely different people, I would be a way different person. Like, they really informed a lot, especially me being the youngest. I mean, I know that they're all the same age, but I think, I think I'd be a way different person. I don't know. I feel like the parents is a big one. Mm-hmm. You also had siblings. Sure, they were different siblings. I don't yeah. know. I mean, none of them seem like they're nice people. Hargreaves seems so different. Why is Hargreaves so different? Is it because of the kids he's different? Or would he have uh, just treated I them think, the same as before? And why did he give it to Pogo? You I know? think it was mostly different because he saw how how much the other, the Umbrella Academy were fuck-ups, right? Like, yeah, it, was, it, it was after that that he completely changed his, his program and went after different kids and changed the way he was training them and everything. I feel like it's got to be related to Ben. I think the Ben Jennifer idea, like why is Ben so different when Ben didn't die, and like Hargreaves changed entirely what he was doing maybe because Ben died. Like that could be a possibility, you know. So like in the first episode, were you wondering like why is Ben different? Yeah, I mean he is huh, different, right? I just immediately assumes like well, I was raised with different people. You're gonna be a different person. Yeah, I mean, he's, I even having the same dad, though, you figure that some of it would be the same, right? He's definitely different than the Ben that Klaus brought back and was talking to. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I feel like that Ben is just the matured I mean, ghost. That, that Ben didn't have a chance oh. to grow up either, right? Sure. Well, sure, Especially but, with but his ghost, like, aged, right? Oh, yeah, sure, exactly. Yeah, yeah, I, I get you. I wonder if that's, like, just the, part of, like, Klaus's, like, abilities that haven't necessarily manifested correctly what is that that ben's ghost could age oh but he also didn't grow up with his siblings like he was young when he died you know like he would have just grown up with klaus and i feel like that is chaotic in itself oh yeah definitely i mean ben would have grown up around his siblings but they wouldn't have grown up around ben yeah he would have been been able to see him yeah because ben and klaus would have conversations about the others Mm -hmm. right yeah Ben could observe the things that people in the real world are doing. He can just only communicate with Klaus. Like, if I didn't have my brother, I wouldn't have loved Star Wars. And that literally, that one thing changes so much about me. <laughs> sure. Like, the, the stories that I, I find important, the things that I've, I've instilled into myself. 
don't think any of that's related to my sister. Sure. Well, you might not have been a cl- you know they they these kids were very close because as much as we keep saying dad and mom, that's not their dad. That's not their no. mom. Like, it's just like the the psych sci- the child psychology of. One, they've been they were turned into superheroes at a super young young age, which sure. is going to fuck you up a little bit. Yeah. But two, like if it's just different people, you you take different. You know, like I have experience. Like people will see me and my brother together. Like, wow, you guys are so alike. It's like, yeah, I copied him growing up. He was six sure. years older than I was. You know. Like my sister taught me how to like fight, not like physically, but like we would always butt heads against each other. You know, like. How to argue, how to get your way, how to... And conflict resolution in a way, too. Hmm. I just feel like the Jennifer thing must be important. Oh, it definitely I'm is. I'm sure it is, yeah. And the only way I can think like, it was it mentioned, that, or it was highlighted at least twice just in this episode. Like, I feel like the things that are important are, like, Harlan killing the moms changes maybe how many kids there are, right? Because if they were all pregnant, if, if he killed them before they gave birth, mm-hmm. which I think that was, like, the day they gave birth, too... Like, they died a couple days before, right? Like, that that sets it on a different course yeah. entirely there, sure. Mm-hmm. But Hargreaves changes so drastically. And then, like, you know, kicks out Pogo and then is being medicated and stuff. Like, does he... Did he have plans and that's why he wanted the kids? And then because of Ben's death, Hargreaves changed what he was wanting to do and then sent them all away, kind of, in a way? Maybe. And like didn't I mean, really he didn't teach them why did the previous Hargreaves not teach them how to adequately use their powers, whereas this Hargreaves is like, We will teach you why well, once, why, why wouldn't I do that? Once Ben died and number five went missing, like they weren't Umbrella Academy anymore, right? Like Hargreaves like killed himself just to bring them all back together to stop sure. the apocalypse. That's what that's what Klaus was saying. Like yeah. everything changed after Yeah, they splintered after that happened. Only uh Luther stayed, right? And then he got sent to the moon. <laughs> sure. I think I don't know exactly what age they all split off, but to me it seemed like an early teenage age. I'm not really sure exactly because like Allison like went off, became a movie star, uh, got married, had a kid. Yeah, I'm trying to think like exactly what age that would have happened. Whereas the sparrows that never happened, and Hargreaves never lost his kids, right? They stayed there, but maybe Ben being alive, we don't know exactly what the uh, <clears throat> the arrangement is between them. But I wonder if the original Hargraves had an arrangement with Ben, maybe or something. But because he died, it didn't work out. I don't know. There's a lot of different like yeah. uh, possibilities when it comes to that. Like, there's also the question like, how does Hargraves know about Oblivion and stuff, and and how does he know there's some alien that shit? He needs to prepare a team on a suicide mission. Yeah. Sure. You know? I mean, the thing, though, is, like, when they got rid of Pogo, they were older. They weren't kids. They were much older, yeah. Like, I don't know. I just feel like there's some things where it's, like, something drastically changed, and Ben must be the reason. Mm-hmm. I'm just trying to pinpoint why things changed so much. Like, is there was there not originally an Obsidian and Oblivion and whatever his plan was with all that? The Pachinko machine? Was that not non-existent? I don't know. Like, how much of this time changed, and why did it change? Like feel like that stuff had to have been existent right existing before umbrella and sparrow right i would think but because he needs this team these kids would make a good team you know with their to go to the other superpowers side. and stuff i feel like that's the that's the initial thing you know yeah. the primary mover yeah i don't know I also don't know why Prime Mover. I don't know why one of the yeah. siblings is a box. You know, I don't I, really. I don't get that. I don't understand. And he can split himself apart into like sixty-four and pieces. Shoot lightning and kill you and, and stuff. I don't understand how he operates or yeah, what he is know. or whatever. But that's unrelated. To I understand that more than I do stuff. Allison. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! More than you do Allison? No, I'm kidding. I, I I think I understand. I, I don't think I've missed anything when it comes to Allison. I just I I, only, I didn't even agree with number five's comparison. Whenever he killed the people at the board meeting, one is done in cold blood, and one was wasn't in a way. Like one's white hot revenge. Like she even admitted, like she killed it to hurt Victor. I mean, you yeah. Know? Like that's I don't feel like you can really compare those two acts. But there was also I mean an you element, can't end that they're killing. But there's also an element that she 
brought Harlan's body to the Sparrows, which yeah. is what they wanted. Like, mm-hmm. if it was purely revenge, you figured just kill him and leave him wherever. It wouldn't matter so much, right? Sure. I guess, yeah. And if it was purely business, she would have just brought him alive to the Sparrows. Let them kill him. Sure. Like, this way she got both. This way she got, yeah. But the comparison, I think, is like... Have her cake and eat it, too. We did this so that we could save the world. Mm-hmm. I killed that boardroom so that we could come back to our time. Yeah. You know, like, there's the comparison of, like, did X murder for... Why sure. reason? And I think is what he was trying to compare. Like, yeah, but I feel like I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I feel like number five's reason is to save the world, and Allison's primary reason is because she's sad, and she it wanted it to hurt did Victor. feel like when she no. found she's out. Just, so I don't know. It did feel like when she found out about Harlan, she killed him. Yeah, and then used his body as an opportunity to. You know, it, it didn't seem like. Making peace with the sparrows was the primary reason why she killed him. Yeah, if Batman sure. just killed the you Joker, know? I'd be like, you know what? I think I get it. <laughs> you know? No. So many times, him I get it. <laughs> yeah. Like I think Five is looking at it as like this is what yeah. they were wanting to probably do anyway. They needed because sure. Victor took him away so that yeah. the others wouldn't want to take him to the sparrows. So mm-hmm. Five and all of them wanted to do that anyway. Sure. It'd be like if like I don't like Calvin. Ah, I want to kill Calvin. I can't kill Calvin. Yeah. But then like someone was like. I don't know. Elon Musk was like, I'll give you a billion dollars. I'll give him a billion dollars if you kill Calvin. Like, fucking, now I have a reason. Sure. Before I have a reason. But my primary reason was that I just didn't like him or something. I guess. I feel like that's kind of where she falls. Sorry, Calvin. It's hard for me, I guess, to maybe. I fully expect it. (laughs) (laughs) I think I'm having a hard time relating to how they process grief because in certain moments, I think I'm expected to be like, dude, it sucks. Claire's gone and you don't have her. That sucks. But, like, they seemingly. Imagine their siblings dying and not really caring. Like here, they're like, oh, "Where's uh, where's Klaus? The guy probably maybe, maybe he got sucked up. Like, oh, that sucks." You know, I just feel like they would care that a sibling had either been gone or dead. Or, I mean, they think these people are dying, right? Like, I don't know what's happening when they get sucked into that thing. I imagine this ends with the world being restored somehow, um, or else it's, it's not. It's, it's sure, really things sucks. are fucked. Yeah, but like they seem like don't care too much like Diego was just like ah Klaus is dead you know don't do that next time you know and it wasn't until he woke back up that it felt like Klaus actually or that uh, that Diego actually started to process deal with his emotions sure so I'm having a I, maybe I'm just having a hard problem trying to understand like where should I relate with them should I relate with their childhood trauma yes but like I don't know maybe that's my my problem with Allison is I, I'm just not understanding where they really are in terms of moral relativism I guess I don't know sure and maybe there's also like a bit of like compartmentalism or something like that too like if you were if you were on a bus that was driving towards a cliff you had to stop it Mm -hmm. and then your brother dies Mm. like should you grieve your brother in that moment or should you try to solve the bus problem first you know what I mean like maybe there's a you know what I mean? I wouldn't quip about it. In an, in an element like that? <laughs> yeah. Sure. What, did they quip? There was a bit of a like, quip in this episode. I don't feel like it was like Spider-Man quippy. It was no, just no, no, like not they, made, no. they just made a remark of just like, like, they could be dead already. Yeah. And it's like, what, do you, what should you do about that if they're dead already? Yeah. I don't know. They like, can't do anything about Stanley. I mean, he was looking in the fireplace and under the bed, but it's mm-hmm. like, he's not there. Sure. Like, no, they saw so. him like a moment before he was taken and then yeah. the drink and the drink they saw the drink fall sure. like after the wave hit so no I don't know it's it's tricky because it's hard to like necessarily put myself in the headspace like with Allison how much is also related to like Lila talking about you're, you're in the spins you're spinning you, oh, yeah. you've lost a grip on reality, like, reality because yeah. this time shenanigans yeah, that she she's never into dealt nihilism. with has just spun you yeah. into like nothing's real none of it really matters but it's so, such like, a selfish nihilism like Yes, you are doing that through time and all that stuff, but people are still real. Like, we we kind of, like, don't care about the world. Like, billions are seemingly dead, and they're, like, partying, you know? I don't know. There's something about it where I'm, like, having a hard time relating with these kids, but I think they have to be because they're, like, effectively grown-up child soldiers, you know? Yeah. And I can't understand that. I mean, there was parties at the end of, like, Armageddon and Independence Day and yeah. lots of people died in that but they sure. stopped the great evil you know like, yeah. I think that's what the party was meant to be but you didn't see like Allison and Victor partying because mm-hmm. they were still like not happy with the turnout of things yeah because one murdered the other's son <laughs> effectively <laughs> effectively and the others are just kind of like ah just you know just it's fine <laughs> don't worry about it I don't know I, I think I'm just a little confused in that regard 
mean, yeah, I mean, I understand. I think it's a hard thing to grasp emotional, like, what are they thinking and where are they in the headspace wise? And no, it, it is. How much does time mess with everything? And if, I, I, if she doesn't believe it's real, yeah, like that would be that would fall into like a, a psychological. I need a psychiatrist kind of thing. Mm-hmm. If you don't, if you don't believe things are real, and you're just killing people. Well, there's yeah. something wrong with you. Sure, right. Of course. Like, yeah. how much should I hold that over your head versus like you need help to get this taken care of and stuff? But I no, feel like, like a lot of times when you hear cases like that, and you know, a doctor can give a okay, here's what I think is happening. Whereas Allison just feels like she's just saying, she's like super honest right now. Like she's tired of not being honest and just saying, yeah, I, I did this. What the fuck are you gonna do about it? You know, like it just seems so, she seems so coherent and lucid in those moments. Yeah, it does seem Whereas like, like setting she's... it up, maybe, she, maybe they're setting up for like a villain, which might be a cool maybe. turn. I think if you had her like in the Matrix and she just starts killing people because yeah. she wants to or wants to get revenge or whatever, but she doesn't care because she feels like it's all fake. She feels like nothing's real. Yeah. Like you can say those are real people, but she doesn't feel like they're real people. But isn't she because... sad because her real daughter's gone? Sure, but now she's also spiraling into yeah. none of it matters, none of it's real. We're either all dead in a matter of days, mm-hmm. or we fix the timeline and none of what we're doing matters really anyway. And Harlan because either, I don't get what I want. Yeah, well, and Harlan either comes back to life or never had powers, thus he could never do what he did, thus yeah. everything changes. So like, I, there's a weird spiral of maybe. what is real and what matters. You know, like if it was all simulation, that's how you would feel. With it being time, it's hard to wrap your mind around time and what is real, especially when it's changing and mm-hmm. them showing up here, they're everything's all fucked. So I don't know. Yeah. I guess it's like it's one of those things where it's like, well, if you ever confront the like the feelings of nihilism, nihilism anti nihilism one oh one is is that like Shit does matter. Like, just because you're going to die one day doesn't mean that you can't have a good day today, right? Yeah. Like, or just because your partner is going to be gone one day doesn't mean mean you can't enjoy them right now. Like, it's a relatively quick conversation that you can have. But, again, to your point, I don't understand what time shenanigans do. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what that would do to me. And, like, the idea of Harlan, if Harlan himself isn't important to either everybody dying or us fixing it all and rewinding time... Mm -hmm. Ultimately, does he matter? Because he's either going to be dead anyway, or he's going to be yeah. fixed and back to normal anyway. So, like in a way, what she did doesn't matter, and she got to feel that yeah. moment. So, I, I don't know what she's thinking necessarily. Yeah, I don't know. Except for like, she did have the line of like, people don't want apologies; they just want confessions. And I was like trying to think about that, of like, do I just like if someone comes up to me and apologizes, do I just want to hear that they do feel sorry for X? Like, is it really just the X part of it? Not necessarily that they feel sorry for it. But like hers was like they just want to know that you're acknowledging the list of what they should feel sorry for, essentially. Not necessarily right. that. Sure. No. Like, like Calvin, Calvin doesn't want to hear me say I'm sorry, Calvin. But he, he wants, wants to me under- to acknowledge that I shouldn't have fucked with this chair. You sure. Know what I mean? But also he wants you to understand why it makes him mad. Bird shadow. That was freaky weird. Yeah. I don't but know. There was a shadow of a bird that went across all five windows. Oh, like, shit. Shoo, like that. And Aaron and I both saw it. Damn. <laughs> and I looked at Aaron. And <laughs> I was like, over here because I thought a bird was going to be in here somewhere. Ah! Sorry. What were we talking about? Uh, the apology and confession. Oh, the yeah, apology and confession. They're like, well, the Calvin with the chair thing. Like, if Calvin Roy wants an apology, he wants it. To, he wants you to understand why he doesn't like that, right? Like he, why he feels upset or something like that. Which sure. So I, it, I feel like her distinction. An apology is almost half an acknowledgement of wrongdoing. Yeah. And like the, I can just say sure. the regret and yeah. and wish to make it not happen. Yeah. Like right? how many times have you seen online where someone's like, "Yo, I'm sorry you took it that way." Sure. You know, like that's, that's a an, fake ass like apology. That's an apology, but the, you're 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 not like confronting anything. Yeah. Right? No, no that's the same. that apology is blaming them for yeah. having a problem with yeah. what happened. I kind of feel not like Allison taking is, any responsibility on yourself. Like Allison's it, like just like I feel like she's just setting up for a villain arc with some of the stuff that she's thinking. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's possible, I suppose. Yeah. But I'm just thinking like if I just came up and said I'm sorry. Yeah. Like in your head, you're like sorry for what. Like that part matters. That's sure, the, sure. That's the important part. Is like what she's well, saying. Yeah, I mean, not so much the I'm sorry. Well, an apology. Empty. Apologies generally need to end with for like either forgiveness or not forgiveness, right? Like sure. I can accept your apology or not. Like Allison's like, oh, people just want to hear apologies. They don't only like, which what was confession. The uh, people the don't confession. care about apologies. They just want confessions. Yeah, they, yeah. He wants a list of you like saying here's what you feel guilty about. Yeah. I mean, if, I feel like if I am trying to apologize for something, then I. 
like confessing the things that I've done goes with it. Nice. Wow. I got him. You got him finally. Yeah, I mean, you can say that, but you can't do the I'm sorry without the list of what she's saying. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, like, it means just I'm sorry means nothing. Oh, yeah. Acknowledging that. So, I think that's why she's also saying, like, the I'm sorry isn't really what the important part is. Mm -hmm. It's the list of you saying, here's what I did wrong, and let me understand why you feel bad and why I shouldn't have done it. Yeah, yeah. Or let yeah, me if, if you don't. The tone feel, of her voice made it sound like that was the wrong thing to think. Yeah, like, I don't know. The, from what she was saying, like, yeah, like that's her what, admitting that there was any wrongdoing was unthinkable. That's why I was writing that's, it down because I'm like the idea of it. I'm like I, I kept thinking about that a little bit more, and I'm. Like, I mean, it does make sense. I don't know that I necessarily disagree with her, but she said it in such a way that was so. It's like she was ridiculing anyone for for having any thought on the matter at all <laughs> you know I think she is I think she's upset a lot of things and feels and if, I, if you felt I like feel nothing that. matters that's probably how you're gonna say that you there's, know I, I think that there's a lot of things with Allison that we could try to jump in and be like okay maybe she meant this and this and this but like I feel like her comment about we should have left you in that basement is almost unforgivable I mean I guess they like, also I, I think locking her in that basement is an unforgivable act yeah. let alone the we should have left you there. Oh, no. Yeah, but that's on the dad. That's not on Allison. No, they all right? locked her... They locked oh, Vanya in this, there okay. back yeah, in, like, season gotcha. one. Gotcha. That's when, okay. that's when Allison rumored her... When Luther did it, and, it. and yeah. I was upset with Luther. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That... Sure. So, I... You're right that the... They did that to they her did, child, right? They did the rumoring well. on the I got, child I was thinking thing. about the child stuff. So, there was that, too. But yeah. both of those mm-hmm. occurred in there. She... Mm-hmm. He... Victor now broke out back then. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just exploded out. And then that was when the world was going to end thing was during that that's, moment, I think, right? That's when, like... The whole first part of it started. Which, yeah. honestly, a lot of it is because like of Like the Allison. moon broke apart and everything. Alice and Victor are the biggest reason, really, all this stuff is happening. Yeah. Right? Cause, like, oh, yeah. I mean, it's... I, I would say it's not Victor's fault that... Uh, like, I can't place the blame on Victor, even though Victor's responsible for this thing. Sure. It's everyone else's doing this to this child that caused this type of stuff to happen, right? Like, you can't, you know, get mad at a dog for biting back if you just keep hitting it, you know? Sure. Um, like, that's not the dog's fault. That's the person hitting the dog's fault. I, I, so, I'm not saying that's on Allison, but... Sure. I mean, I... But Allison just <laughs> murdered but, Victor's son. <laughs> I mean, Victor I murdered that one dude. Which dude? The, the, the one I dude. Yeah. I mean, like, Victor, I'm, pre- I'm pretty sure, right? She yeah, got, and I was cool with it. Back, again, I, yeah, exactly. I, I, but why, Again, why, I'm, I'm cool with the Joker being killed by Batman. That's okay, because you didn't like that guy, and he was a bad guy. Yeah. Right? Sure. Like, yeah, which, sure. Which There's one that guy? Be, wasn't that the guy that was trying... It was Back then, it was Vanya and a boyfriend. His name, yeah. They, I don't remember what that guy's name was. Ago. He had one eyeball, and he... Oh, you're talking he, about the creepy guy. He changed like his name, too. People. Yeah. He's, he had the same birthday, right? Something like that. Yeah. He, and he, and he was the one who wanted any, to be a hero and yeah. wasn't allowed he to or didn't something, didn't get right? any. I mean, yeah. yeah. And then I'm pretty sure, like, there was the big whirlwind and a bunch of blades or something hit him or something mm-hmm. like that. And I think it was just before or just after yeah. the cutting of Alex's Cutting of the throat, yeah. Because that happened as well. So, I don't know. Season one's a little blurry. But the whole thing ultimately culminates into the big orchestra thing and the moon crushing because yeah. they try to save mm-hmm. uh, with the gunshot, I think, right? Yeah. Allison mm-hmm. didn't want to shoot. Mm-hmm. So, because of that, they went back in time. Then all that happened. And then they had to just stop the apocalypse. And then now we're stuck here because of that moment there. Mm-hmm. So, they both kind of caused this mess a little bit. They did. But I don't know if Victor. Yeah. I, if Victor has an upbringing thing, and it's like, well, Victor's trying to better themselves and yeah. not be what that was. Like Allison went through some stuff too, but we we want both of them to be better. It's so, so heartbreaking. Victor is remembering Allison saying, "There's nothing that you could do that would tear us apart. That would that would yeah, make me love you less." Love you but less. obviously, yeah. there was. You know, like clearly. It's, so yeah. it's just crazy to have that moment of. I don't know. I mean. <sighs> Allison certain, certainly can do something that makes me love her less, <laughs> which is murder which Harlan. Is not, <laughs> not use the rumor word. Yeah, she has a power, like, they Harlan's didn't. power up, I guess, right? That's what she had said. I don't understand that, but... Didn't need I heard a rumor. 
just did the audio part. Yeah. Vanya can take power and give it to Harlan. I guess what they're saying is that Harlan and giving it back to Vanya also gave some to Allison. Well, can Vanya? I think it was because Allison was like trying to break into that field of mm -hmm. of yeah of Victor and the Harlan shield. of Harlan giving the power back yeah. to Victor and. Some of it like rebounded yeah. off of her, right? Sure. And like, she said like, even that, some, even that is like a clue for like, oh, villain arc, power up. Sure. <laughs> whenever you had the bad, whenever you're the bad guy, you get a little more powerful. Whenever you unlock the boss to, as a playable character, <laughs> not good. good. Yeah, but, never good. <laughs> Klaus is getting stronger too, though. He's totally getting stronger. Yeah, I, I love those scenes with uh, with the dad. Um, genuine He's so mentorship. And, <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's yeah. giving him, like, genuinely good advice. Do you, do you think that it's like a, uh, he's currently, like, in this, like, middle ground between how he, quote-unquote, really is and then how he is on drugs, and as he's coming off and being weaned off that, there's, like, this, like, happy medium place where he's a good dad? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I feel like whatever it is, he wants... So my thought is that Hargreaves mm -hmm. had a goal in mind. I think it was the Oblivion thing. Whatever happened with him growing, like growing up, these kids, like training yeah. them and stuff. Ben's death changed something to where everything falls apart, or he changes how he does things, and he doesn't fully go the the way he does with these ones. Whereas in this one, because that Ben thing didn't happen, they grow up. He continues the training. He pushes it really hard for this Oblivion thing. Pogo says not to do that, and when he leaves and gives up on this idea because he doesn't agree with him. They give him the meds. It changes Hargreaves to being nicer or whatever. More, uh, not nicer, more like... Uh, Placatable. Yeah. Like he's just goes along with whatever mm -hmm. now. So I think that the original one, the Umbrella Academy, somehow like changed him here. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas the medicine's making him change here. Hmm. Sure. Does that yeah. make sense? Like... Wait, I think it has to do with Ben and Jennifer. And also, what the fuck does that even mean? Because he's an alien. He is... Like, he, he has to have some understanding, like, mm. okay, so I have failed in my creating of the team in this dimension, mm -hmm. but there are others of me out there that are doing it correctly, and they will succeed, so I don't have to keep doing this over here. He's thinking of dimensions? You think? Well, he must know something about dimensions because Whatever he knows Oblivion about is. Oblivion. Whatever's going on with the hotel. I don't, know if, I don't know what Oblivion is. They said the other side of the world. Is Japan or something? Shoot sushi. I don't know samurais. I keep saying samurai. Was did we see a samurai? I'm pretty sure he's that saying guy's a the thing with the scythe. The is thing a you samurai. called a minotaur, I think, is a, sam a samurai. What? I was doing the samurai. Uh, I was doing the minotaur thing because he said it's like a maze. And yeah, the Minotaur. I think it's a samurai. He has like a rope dart. Don't get me wrong, I would love he that. He has some fucking armor and that shit. That would be even scarier really if heavy. he would just, you know, <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's just the upgraded version of Mom. Mom. Oh. With a rope dart. With I'm sticking. Armor, rope with... dart. You saw how she got dressed up for the battle scene here. It's like a nun for her religion of the god, and she brought the fire. Because we didn't see. It's face, it must be someone we would recognize, right? Or else why not show up? It's a samurai. What we <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this reaction to Umbrella Academy. And if you want to see more, make sure you subscribe. There'll be new ones here every week. If you want to get more right now though, check out patreon.com slash blindwave where we have early access and full length. You can see all that down in the description below. And uh, twitch.tv slash blindwave down there. Come join our live streams. Mm -hmm. It's down there. Thanks.